Hello everyone, this is Shannon for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a really fun and colorful layered rainbow out of some die cut circles. To start today's project, I already went ahead and die cut a whole bunch of these little circles from colored cardstock. I just used my scraps, I save all my colored cardstock scraps, and I used Waffle Flowers Nesting Circles 1 die, that smallest die in the set, to cut these circles. I'm now going to take these circles and place them in rainbow order. I kept track of how many I cut, I cut 24, so I'm going to put 12, I'm going to split them, so I'm going to put 12 up top and 12 below, but they're still in rainbow order. You can see as I transition from the yellow to the green, they're still all in rainbow order. I did this so I could find the very center, which is that green, and the very beginning, which is that kind of dark pink. That pink is going to be the very bottom of my um, heart, I'm going to arrange these in a heart, and that green is going to be the very center. Now I've taken all of these circles and just stacked them up. They're actually still in rainbow order here, so you remember how I divided it in two halves? I have either half on either side of this acetate grid here. I'm going to start to arrange these circles. I'm making sure I'm doing one on the right side and then one on the left and then one on the right side and then one on the left. This is just going to make sure everything stays nice and balanced and I am using the grid on the acetate sheet here to also help me. The acetate grid um, I just find a little bit better than my work surface because it has a quarter um, marked on there so it's just it's just a finer grid and I'm continuing to build my heart here I just want to also point out that on the left side I tuck under and on the right side I go over now I'm getting to the very center of the heart here and this is where it gets a little trickier because um, both sides are coming very close to each other touching so right now I'm just focusing on getting these hearts in these I'm sorry these circles in rainbow order and um, making sure that they're all kind of tucked over or under whatever it, it is the right place for that circle to be. And now that I've got all the circles in the right order and they're all tucked appropriately, I'm now going to take a die pick here and kind of start fine tuning this heart. And I'm kind of making sure that the circles are kind of evenly spaced from each other and they definitely have that heart shape. I also grabbed a piece of cardstock here to kind of straighten out the edges of the circle. That's a really handy trick. Um, I did end up kind of tweaking it <laughs> a lot more after that, so it is gets a little rounder, but that's just because I liked that round, a little bit more rounded look of a heart. So I can continue to fine tune here, and I'm almost done. So I'm now finished, and now that I've got the heart perfect, I'm going to grab three pieces of painter's tape and very carefully place them over those arranged circles, one on the side, one right at the top, and then I'll do one more on the other side. This painter tape holds all those die cuts perfectly in place, and now I'm going to carefully flip over my rainbow heart, and then I'm going to grab some tape, pull off a couple pieces of tape, and just tape down the back side of all these circles, and that's going to hold all of them perfectly in place. And I also make sure that if any of that scotch tape is hanging out over the edge, I just trim it down. Now all that the now all the circles are taped, I'm going to carefully remove the painter's tape here. And don't worry about the little bit of colored cardstock on the tape that's left over from a previous project, but definitely want to make sure that painter's tape can be sticky, so make sure you um, place it on your clothes a little bit to remove some of the stick. Now I'm going to move on to my sentiment. So this rainbow uh, word is cut out with Waffle Flaw's rainbow word die, and I cut it out three times out of 110 pound black cardstock. And now I'm just going to layer these die cuts up so I have a nice um, thick sentiment. So I just used some Tombow Mono liquid glue, added small amount of dots all over the front side of one of the rainbows, and then grabbed one of the other die cuts and place it on top and now I'm going to repeat this process for that last rainbow word and as you can see here it's all glued together nice bit of dimension this just really adds a kind of really cool depth and detail to your card now I'm going to finish up my sentiment with the rainbows stamp set and I'm going to stamp of happiness um, on the bottom of some white cardstock here in VersaFine onyx black ink I went ahead and trimmed that sentiment down to a strip so it's about three-fourths of an inch by uh, three and a quarter 
And now I have two pieces of white cardstock here. One is an A2 panel, so four and a quarter by five and a half, and the other is a little bit smaller. It is actually a little bit over four inches by five and a half, so it's a little bit smaller on one side. And I just like that little detail of, um, of, of a little gap there on the left side of the card. So now I'm going to take this panel that I just glued together and I'm going to adhere it right onto an A2 top folding card base made from 110 pound white cardstock. And I just put some liquid glue right on top there and just gonna line it up and glue that down. Once I've glued that down, I can start to work on my sentiment and kind of arrange everything. So I'm going to grab my heart here, kind of place it kind of askew and I'm going to grab my sentiment strip, kind of get everything arranged the way I want it. So that looks good to me. So I'm gonna now start kind of gluing things down. For my sentiment strip, I want it to pop a little bit. So I'm gonna add some a foam tape to the back of it, just a couple pieces of foam tape. And I'm just gonna go straight ahead and remove the backing and stick that right on down. And once I get that stuck, I'm going to glue down the rainbows. So that dimensional rainbows that we made by layering three die cuts together, I'm just gonna add some more liquid glue to the back of it and kind of layer or glue it right down onto that white sentiment strip. And then I'm gonna finish up by gluing my heart. Just gonna add some more of that liquid glue right to the back side of the heart, right onto that scotch tape. It'll be fine, it holds on great. And once I've got it all glued, I'll just kind of place it right back where it was, a little bit of skewed, and that will complete my card. Now that I'm all done with the card, I'll hold up to the camera so you can get a good look at this rainbow. I really had fun creating this rainbow card. Who doesn't love working with rainbows, right? It is a fair amount of die cutting, but it is a good use of those scraps. So anytime I can use my scraps, I'm I'm up for it. I did notice a little bit of hair, uh, I call them paper hairs, left on my word die cut. And I just took that kind of brush um, attachment from my die pick tool and kind of rubbed it over. That does a great job of kind of removing those paper hairs. And now I'm gonna show you a second card that I created with the same kind of concept. I did use a different circle die from the nesting circles die set. Um, so it, I cut bigger circles this time, but I used the same rainbow of colors. I actually die cut these circles the same time I was die cutting the small circle. So it was really quick and easy to do these two cards. And um, again, I use the same kind of sentiment from use that word rainbow word die cut with the rainbow stamp set to complete these two cards. And you could use other die cut shapes besides circles. You could use hearts, you could use squares, you could use flowers. There's a lot of versatility with this project. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards and videos. If you want any more information on the products I used, please visit waffleflower.com. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.